What's up guys today's video is on the top 10 best wireless gaming mouse 2022 through extensive research and testing I've put together a list of options that'll meet we needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price performance or it's particular use we've got you covered for more information on the products. I've included links in the description box down below which are updated for the best prices. Like the video comment and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. 10th place. Razer Turret for Xbox One. In reality, the Razer Turret is a gaming keyboard rather than a gaming mouse. It's still worth considering if you want to browse your Xbox One or Xbox Series 10 like a PC. The Turret is a wireless mouse and keyboard combo designed primarily for living room console gaming. You place the keyboard component in your lap, slide out a mouse pad, and use the mouse as you would on a desk. The Turret is a somewhat specialized item. It's pricey, it doesn't function with PlayStation systems, and few Xbox games allow you to use a mouse and keyboard simultaneously. However, it may provide you an advantage in some high-profile games, such as Halo Infinite and Sea of Thieves. Whatever else you might say about the turret, nothing compares to it. Ninth place. Steel. Series Rocks 5 Wireless. While the honeycomb design of ultra-lightweight gaming mice is divisive, some gamers appreciate the unique look and better airflow. As a result, the Steel Series Rocks 5 Wireless is the way to go if you want a wireless honeycomb mouse. This full-size mouse only weighs 2.6 ounces, making it one of the lightest alternatives available. It also features solid in-game performance with the Steel Series engine software. It's worth noting that the paddle button just above the thumb buttons isn't as responsive as it could be, and that the thumb buttons themselves are small. However, the Aerox 5 wireless is easy to grip and works particularly well with esports genres. That makes it appealing to competitive gamers. 8th place. Razer Naga Pro. The Razer Naga Pro may be the best massively multiplayer online, MMO, gaming mouse on the market, but it has the potential to be much more. The Naga Pro, like most MMO mice, includes a big side panel with a dozen extra buttons. However, unlike most MMO mice, the Naga Pro offers two additional swappable side panels that you may use if you prefer a six or two button layout instead. As a result, the Naga Pro is an incredibly versatile instrument. To be sure, you'll have to pay a lot of money for that type of versatility, and some of the side panels perform better than others. It's also a letdown that the Naga Pro lacks a hex panel design, as the wired Razer Naga Trinity did. However, you do get good performance and a long battery life. 7th place. Corsair Dark Core RGB Pro SE. If you want your desktop to be as wireless as possible, look for gadgets that charge wirelessly as well. The Corsair Dark Core RGB Pro SE is one of the few gaming mouse that supports wireless Qi charging, and it performs admirably. The battery lasts up to 50 hours, and the mouse may be used wirelessly through USB or Bluetooth. That's more than a week of ordinary use or slightly less than a week of intensive use. The Dark Core RGB Pro SE boasts excellent in-game performance, beautiful RGB lights, and even a swappable side panel for added grip on your outermost fingers. The mouse isn't even that pricey at less than $100, making it one of the better offers on this website. 6th place. Razer Orochi V2. Most wireless gaming mice are monstrous devices built for massive batteries and even bigger palms. That is not the case with the Razer Orochi V2, a small device designed to complement gaming laptops. The Orochi V2 is only 42 by 23 by 1.5 inches in size, so it will easily fit in backpacks, laptop bags, and small hands. It also supports claw, palm, and fingertip grips, which not all gaming mice do. While the Orochi V2 lacks a rechargeable battery, a single AA will provide up to 40 days of battery life if used in Bluetooth mode. USB wireless is less efficient, the mouse also lacks RGB illumination, which isn't a significant disadvantage if performance is your primary priority. 5th place. Logitech G Pro X Superlight. The Logitech G Pro X Superlight mouse proves that you can have an extremely lightweight mouse without going for a distracting honeycomb design. With a precise sensor, an ergonomic design, and two well-placed thumb buttons, the G Pro X weighs only 2.2 ounces yet delivers a ton of performance. The G Pro X Superlight is interesting because of its simplicity. There is no RGB illumination, no textured grips, and no customizing options. In exchange, you receive one of the lightest gaming mice on the market, with a rechargeable 70-hour battery and simple Logitech G Hub software. While the G Pro X Superlight is pricey, it is well worth it for esports enthusiasts. You can also use it with the Logitech PowerPlay mousepad to charge it continuously. Fourth place. Steel. Series Rival 3 Wireless. The Steel Series Rival 3 wireless gaming mouse is hard to match for small and simple gaming mice. If you want a high-quality accessory from a big brand, 
This mouse is about as simple as it gets. It costs less than $50, making it a fantastic value among wireless gaming mouse. Aside from its low pricing, the Rival 3 Wireless has good performance, intuitive software, and an ergonomic design. However, there are no grips and only one little RGB lighting zone, so be aware of what you're getting into. On the plus side, the mouse can seamlessly transition between USB and Bluetooth wireless, and SteelSeries boasts that it can run for up to 400 hours on two AA batteries. Granted, this means you'll have to replace batteries on a regular basis rather than merely recharging them, which can be inconvenient. Third place. Razer Death Adder V2 Pro. The Razer Death Adder V2 Pro is the latest in a long line of Razer Death Adder mice. It's no surprise that the Death Adder has been on the market for 15 years and has sold over 10 million copies in that time, thanks to its ergonomic design and robust functionality. If you haven't used a Death Adder before, it is the current gaming mouse template, with an ergonomic design, a few programmable buttons, and a powerful software package in Razer Synapse. The Death Adder V2 Pro is basically a wireless version of the wired Death Adder V2, with a textured scroll wheel, coarse grips, and subtle RGB illumination. While the Death Adder V2 Pro isn't the most expensive wireless gaming mouse on the market, it is highly intuitive and reasonably priced. It's not broken, and Razer hasn't made it better. Second place. Corsair Harpoon RGB Wireless. The Corsair Harpoon RGB Wireless has been on the market for a long time, mostly because nothing has to be changed about it. This little, simple mouse costs less than $50 and provides a nice grip, a few extra buttons, and full featured functionality. The IQ software allows you to configure buttons, switch between USB and Bluetooth connectivity, and enjoy up to 60 hours of battery life. It's difficult to pinpoint any flaws with the Harpoon RGB wireless. To be sure, the mouse may be too little for gamers with huge hands. The RGB lighting is also, at best, useless because your palm will cover the sole lit region. Otherwise, the Harpoon RGB wireless is one of the greatest gaming mouse offers available, especially for a wireless device. Second place. Asus ROG Phone 5. The Asus ROG Phone 5's hefty, gamer-like design may not appeal to the masses, but that is not the goal here. Asus has prioritized gaming with a 144Hz AMOLED screen, two 3000 mAh batteries, last year's top-end Snapdragon 888, and up to an eye-watering 16GB of RAM. It can handle almost any game available on Android right now, with enough power left over to keep the phone running for a long period, all at a lower price than big-name flagships. Haptic triggers built directly into the side of the ROG Phone 5 further enhance the gaming experience, and if you want to take things a step further, the plethora of official accessories, including Nintendo Switch S Kunai 5 controllers and the fan-powered Aeroactive Cooler 5 cooling system, should be right up your alley. Even though they aren't related to gaming, the cameras are great, which is thank you for watching, and until next time, I hope to see you all in the next video. See you later guys.